Hello everyone, and happy to see you here. Really interesting Olympiad problem. This is really great and really tricky Olympiad problem. How many pairs of integers x and y satisfy the equation? So we have x over 12 equal to 12 over y. And how many pairs of integer? This is a really interesting moment, because if you're talking about real number, this is hard like, to count all, all solution to this. But we have integer, so this is really great in the beginning. So how can we solve this interesting question? Let's try to simplify this a little bit. So we have x over 12 equal to 12 over y. Let's try to, to use our cross multiplying. We will have like x over y, x, x times y equal to 12 times 12 equal to 12 square. Yeah, or 144 as you like, like in this way or in this way, this is good. Okay, we have 12 square. And right now I want to simplify these 12 square or rewrite it in another way. So we know that 12 square can be written as 4 times 3 and squared. So this 12 can be written as 4 times 3. Yeah, in the beginning we can write it. And the next one what we need, if we have like situation like a to the power x or a times b raised to the power x, we can write it as a to the power x times b to the power x. This is really interesting moment because we can write it as 4 square times 3 square. And if you multiply it, of course, we have like 16 times 9, which is equal to 144 or 12 square. This is good. So this xy can be written as 4 square times 3 square. And moreover, let's simplify this, not like simplify or rewrite it in another way. Let's rewrite it this 4 as 2 square. So as a result, 2 square times 3 square. And of course, right here raised to the square because we have it right here. Okay, and as a result, let's use this rule once more, 2 times 2 will be equal to 4, so 2 to the power 4 times 3 square. And this is our, our expression xy equal to, I write it right here, xy equal to 2 to the 4th times 3 square. And this is the main really interesting moment right now. xy equal to 2 to the 4th times 3 square. And what it tells to us, because right here we have like 2 to the 4, 3 square, what it tells to us, but if you know a little bit about theorem, this theorem only can be applied by in with prime numbers, so we have theorem right here, only with prime numbers, prime numbers. Okay, what is the theorem about? If you have a product a to the power x times b to the power y times z or times c to the power z, if we have a product like that and a lot of like numbers right here, where, where a, b, c and a lot of these numbers, prime numbers, are prime numbers, then we can easily say that right here, number of factors, I write it step by step, so number, number of factors will be equal to, will be equal to x plus 1 times y, y plus 1 and times z plus 1 and a lot of these parentheses. So as you can see, if you wanted to find a factors using this theorem, so if a, b, c prime numbers, we have x, y, d, so the number of factors we need to add 1 to our power. And let's look in our case, we have like 2 and 3, this is these are prime numbers. So I want to write an example, so example, let's apply this theorem, example. Let's apply this theorem. For example, we have 12, like, okay, 12 can be written as 4 times 3, yeah? 12 can be written as 4 times 3. Or, this is better for us because, like, we can write it as 2 squared times 3, and this is that we need to have a theorem because 4, this is not a prime number, yeah? And right now, if we want to find a factors, so number, number of factors, so number of factors, we, what we need to do, we need to add 1 to this 2 because x plus 1, so we will have like 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 equal to 2 times 3 will be equal to 6. So there are 6 factors to this 12. This is only our example. But let's go to our, uh, let's go to our factors, yeah? So what did factors, what are the factors to this 12? Let's go um, in, the, in the back like a little bit. So we have six factors. What are these factors? So factors of this 12. Let's try to prove this theorem, check it real quick. So what are these factors of 12? Factors of this 12. We have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 
6 and 12. Yeah, and uh, let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this theorem is, is absolutely good and absolutely correct in our case. But this was an example. Let's go to our problem. We have like 2 to the 4th. So we have that xy equal to 2 to the 4th times 3 squared. What about factors of this, of this question? Because if you are talking like about this problem, we need to find the factors. So number of factors. And let's Let's see about this theorem. So what we need to do? We need to add one. So we have like four plus one. We have right here four. And right here we have two plus one, which is equal to four plus one, five. Five times three, which is equal to 15. Yeah, which is equal to 15. So let's go and try to check it real quick. What about our, our question? But in this moment, we find 15 positive. This is 15 positive. And we need to add to it 15 negative values. So I write it number of factors, our answer, number of factors, number of factors. So we have like 15 positive, 15 positive, 15 negative, And overall, this will be like 30. This is our answer with 15 positive and 15 negative. This is a solution to this interesting problem. Maybe you, you thought that this would be like uh, this would be like a um, complicated solution like formulas, but if you know a little bit about this theorem, you can easily solve this. So you can easily solve it in your mind, in your head real quick without like only you need to do you need to know about this theorem. Theorem, if you're talking about prime numbers, you need to factor it using prime numbers. So 2 times 3, this is really good. 4 times, for example, 5, this is not good because 5 is even number. You need to write it as a product and to apply this, apply this theorem. And maybe a little bit complicated for you because like every student like don't like theorem, they don't like to think a little bit, but right here, this is really like easy theorem. You just need to add one to the to your power. So right here you see. 2 to the 4th, 3 square, you add it. 5 times 3, 15, and of course you need to add negative solution to this, to this answer. If you still have any question, write a question in comment. What do you think about this problem? Maybe you find like another way how can we solve it? This is, would be really interesting to read it because I like to, to read about your approach. This is more interesting to, than my approach. Maybe you find another approach. This is really great to, to exchange if information, of course. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your subscribing, for your support. And of course, don't forget to follow my YouTube channel and to leave a like and write any comment. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.